What's going on guys? Welcome back to That's Just Trading Channel with Angel. If you haven't already, make sure to go hit the subscribe button, leave a like on this video, and comment what y'all want to see next. What's up guys? So today we're going to be going over GME, AMC, and SAVA, which is also Sava, right? So the first thing I want to go over is GME, right? What does GME have next and what can we see next, right? Uh, right here, just so you can see, I mean, we did hit a low uh, this pre-market this morning. And right now, after market, we're just trading here at about 84, 87. And... I mean, what happened, right? All the hype, all the hype. We hit here 5.13, and then ever since then, we had this big drop. Uh, we tried to come test here in the pre-market open. Nothing rejected there, and boom. Ever since then, we've been on a big downtrend. And I just kind of want to let you all know, like, what's next? Where can we see supports? Where can we see resistances, right? Uh, if I'm GME, if I'm in GME, what can I do? Where do I get out, right? So one of the main uh, things that I see here on GME, which is uh, kind of good if you're in it for the long term, right, or... Uh, if you're in it towards the bullish side for right now, is this 73, 74 area of support, right? This was able to establish a double bottom support here at uh, during this pre-market, I believe it was this morning, yeah. So this morning at about 4, uh, 4 a.m., it was able to establish about a double bottom here uh, around the 73, 74 area, right? And why is that good? Well, that's good because it shows a lot of bullish buyers uh, that the stock, it was able to establish a support and it now has room to go towards the upside, right? So I'm not saying that, it, it, guys, it's gonna reverse, it's gonna go towards the upside, it's gonna go back to a 1,000, right? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying be smart, but if you are in it, I mean, the plus side here for you is that it's uh, maintained a double bottom here support. So we have the support now that we have to break through if it doesn't wanna come towards the bottom, right? So what? It, what's the what's the game plan? Well, if it does crack this this uh, double bottom support here at 73.59 area around there, that low that it hit, well, I mean, guys, you can just see this continuing to come down, maybe around towards this uh, $48. And if not, way back down towards what I used to trade, you know, $12, $10, $17 around there. But, I mean, as you can see here, after we hit this high, guys, we were never able to come back and test this high or break above that 500 to be exact, you know. We always, uh, we rejected there, and ever since then, we've been on a downtrend. I mean, you can draw, this is the four-hour chart. You can draw your downtrend lines here, and you can just kind of see where we've been on the downtrend. And like I said, if you're in it towards the bullish side, the good thing is that this does have a double bottom support here. So what does that show us, right? If it's able to keep this main, if it's able to maintain the support, hold above you up and possibly break this downtrend line here first, right? What's the next move we wanna see? Well, we wanna see get it above our EMAs here. For for sure, above the 100 EMA for sure, oh, excuse me, uh, for sure above the 100 EMA, and then after that we can go slowly above the 50, the 25, and the 10, right? But like I said, if you're looking at this towards the bullish side or towards the bullish long-term side, you do want to make sure that it is holding this 73, 74, uh, 74 area of support that it did hold that, uh, this morning because if it cracks through, guys, uh, a lot of shorters are going to see that and they're going to get in on this, right? Don't just think that it's going to go back to 500 just because of the hype. No, that's not the way things work. And like I said, you know, if you bought the hype here, you more than likely got demolished if you're going towards the upside, right? Just call it being a smart trader, knowing your strategy, uh, knowing your game plan, having a game plan before you enter, right? And so if GME does end up crashing down under the support or if it doesn't really end up doing anything anymore, uh, what, what what's next, right? What can, what can uh, all the traders are asking, what could be the next GME? Well, to be honest, guys, I think the next GME could be SAVA, right? Not only because, I mean, we're just trading at $10, $17, uh, $13, excuse me, uh, earlier two weeks ago. Actually, Monday, look, we can see here, Monday it opened at around $13 here. And I mean, look at this move. It's at $130 right now, which is absurd, you know. And a lot of traders are seeing this. And well, right, uh, I, just as you think a stock cannot go more, right? Let's say right here, $74, it uh, couldn't break the $75. You're like, oh, it's done, you know. It's going to come back down. Well, I mean, it came to prove you wrong. I mean, look where it bounced here in the four hour. If we go to a one hour, uh, you could also see where it just rode this 10 EMA, guys. Rode this 10 EMA. And on my last video where I talked about beginner strategies, on how to make money, right? I explained to y'all about writing this 10 EMA, you know, if you want to risk a little bit more, you can write this 25 EMA, but I mean, you can see here, guys, if you were in on Sava, all you gotta do is write this 10 EMA. I mean, look at that, bounce, bounce, boom, now we're up, you know? I wouldn't doubt to see another a test here at the 10 EMA. Remember, guys, if you are looking at this towards the upside, I would wait for a dip buy because, like I said, you don't want to be trapped, just like in GME, you're buying the $500 areas and then it just dumped on you, you know? 
You don't want to be buying in these 130, 140 areas where it's very oversold. I mean, very overbought already. And getting towards those areas where it could possibly just dump any moment, right? I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying you want to be careful and watch that. So where can we possibly see next? Well, I want to see it maybe a dip towards this 10 EMA. And if it does crack this 10 EMA for the first time, I want to see it come down to VWAP, right? I know it's kind of a big move, but uh, I believe that we could just come bounce off this 10 EMA and have a bigger move towards the upside because a lot of traders are seeing that. A lot of traders want the next next GME, right? Everyone's um, hungry to find the next play they can make millions and thousands on. Uh, so a lot of traders see this. It has a lot of volume. The market cap, guys, on GME is $6.45 billion, right? Which is not even a lot for a, a company that size. But the market cap for Sava, S-A-V-A, is $3.07 billion, right? And what does that tell you? Well, it tells you that the market cap is a lot lower, which means what? Well, it means it's going to move a lot easier, guys. So the more volume it increases, right? I mean, you saw all the GME volume. I mean, it only had $6.45 billion market cap so it just kept rotating all the shares and flow kept rotating right and what can we see here well with the lower uh market cap well we're gonna see a we're gonna see possibly a bigger move you know with if a lot of volume keeps coming in a lot of volume keeps increasing we're gonna see a bigger move towards the upside possibly more than gme you know this kind of head up to the thousand areas i'm not saying it will i'm just saying it has a possibility to uh knowing the market conditions right now knowing that traders just want to make money knowing that all these blind traders just want to go in and make some money not knowing what's going on right but as us as smart traders as my family my tjt family right i uh want to tell y'all that it's very unsafe to buy up here guys because when it comes down i mean you're gonna be down quite a bit rather than just you know why not wait for the dip you know wait for it to come to this 10 ema if it cracks this 10 ema okay good you're out you know maybe a small loss uh, rather than you buying up here market open right it spikes up to 160 oh, okay boom i'm in i'm in it's gonna go to 200 then it flushes on you back to test this 10 EMA when I told you you should have just waited for the 10 EMA. So that's what I believe for Sava, guys. Uh, the last thing I do want to go over is AMC. The only reason I want to go over AMC is because it has a lot of hype, just like GME. And I just do want to go over it just in case y'all are in it or y'all like it. Like I said, this is what I see on uh, AMC really quick. We can just draw. This is a one-hour chart. You can just go to your one-hour chart. And you can just see your downtrend lines here. Just kind of where it's been rejecting and rejecting over and over. So what do I want to see on AMC? Well, I mean, it was able to maintain the support here and then bounce again here where we bounced last time at this 653 area around. So pre-market open, we were able to bounce there also. So now we're kind of forming an upward trend here, but uh, we still have to break out of this downward trend. So it's kind of like a little uh, down, a downwards flag, you know? So we want to see if this can, is going to be able to break above. Hold above these EMAs, especially the 100 guys. The 100 is a hard resistance. You can see we're rejected here. Uh, it's also good support, you know, but now it's resistance because we're under it. So it's going to be hard resistance, but if we can break above it, this thing could possibly make a move back towards this $14, $15 move. And it is a smaller uh, stock, so it allows a little bit more people to play it. Uh, if you have, a, you know, it's a, li it's a little bit uh, cheaper, so you can maybe afford more shares or... Whatever you want to do, you know. But that's just my thoughts on AMC. Like I said, first thing is we got to get above this 100 EMA. But if this flag does break towards the downside tomorrow, you could possibly see it come down towards uh, this support here at 598. And if it does crack that, we're going to see $5 and this $4 support down here. So that's just what I say. Uh, see you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure if you all did, smash the subscribe button, please, for me. Like the video and comment down if you all are enjoying these videos. If you're not, then let me know. You know, maybe I'll change it up. But if you are, like I said, uh, make sure you like the video for me, share it to your family and friends, and tell them that SAVA, guys, to watch tomorrow morning. I'm going to be watching that. A lot of top traders are going to be watching that because a smaller market cap, right, and all these traders, all these newbies are looking for something to play, looking for something to make money. And, you know, with a smaller market cap, that means the more people coming in, the higher the volume is going to go and the higher the stock can possibly go. So, like I said, guys, make sure to stay safe, stick to your strategy, and let's go make some money tomorrow. Later.